And hey, welcome back. In 1991, he escaped the constraints of the oppressive USSR government landing on U.S. soil with only 17 cents in his pocket and the dream to succeed. And through the motivation from his family and perseverance, most importantly, he made his way up the ranks to become the CEO of a multi-million dollar corporation. Joining us now to share a story of success is Daniel Milstein, author of the new book, 17 Cents in a Dream, and the founder of Gold Star Mortgage Financial Group. Congratulations, Dan. Morning, Thank you. Good reading good about your life is, is a fascinating read because you come over here, your, was it your grandfather that was in Chernobyl? Correct, yes. And you come here and you have no money. You work at McDonald's, you speak no English. Amazing story. Thank you. The reason you, you wound up in the United States, your family political refugees from Russia, right? That is correct. Explain. Well, uh, we were uh, Jews and Jews were not welcome in the USSR. So um, in addition to that, uh, I was living only 78 miles away from Chernobyl, so at age 10 I was evacuated. And that's what caused, and that's what killed your father, the Chernobyl accident. Why did your family want to come to the United States, even though nobody spoke English? Well, America is the land of opportunities, and if you work hard, we knew that we could achieve some good results. That's right. So uh, you worked at McDonald's. I think about a lot of the, the folks that started out their first job. I worked at McDonald's when I was 16 years old. You said, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to continue to work hard. And then you founded a company. You go, How do you go from McDonald's to the CEO of this massive company. You know, I worked extremely hard, and the uh, last time I called in sick was in 1998, <laughs> dead or alive. <laughs> I'm in my offices assisting my customers and assisting my coworkers to reach their own American dream. Mm -hmm. Is there something you're doing, though, that it gives you a leg up on other people? Because, yes, you're working hard, but is there something else about your character, about your steadfastness that maybe other people could learn from? Well, I mean, it's, it's all about the working hard. It's all about uh, having a good reputation. One thing I have is my good name. And so I just work hard every day. But how has that changed in our society, do you think? Or, or has it? You know, because there's a lot of discussion about whether or not more folks now are comfortable getting a handout as opposed to working extremely hard to get to where you've become. Well, uh, every day I wake up, I look in the mirror, and uh, I just get going. Uh, you can't sit on the couch and think of um, uh, and complain with everybody else. You see, during the financial meltdown, sure. um, I declared to my employees that uh, Gold Star would not be participating in the world's recession. And so we work hard and we never look back and uh, we cleaned our balance sheet and we just kept on, kept on going. And when you came to the United States, you, you had 17 cents in your pocket given to mm. you by somebody for what? Uh, a friend of mine gave me 17 cents uh, to write a letter back home. Man, wow. the letter you have written in this book is an inspiration to everybody. It's called 17 Cents and a Dream. Daniel Milstein, a real pleasure. Likewise, thank you very much. Congratulations on everything. Thank you. And your beautiful family that's in the studio as well. Thanks, Dan. Congratulations. Thank you. Coming up on Fox and Friends, the White